all since you'll agree. And if you should discover you've a longing for a perfect lover, then please consider me. I'm easy to live with, and you're easy to look at. A life will be divine when once your heart is mine. Please think about it twice, dear. It's an easy way to paradise, dear. And that's enough for me. Don't take out Charlie for the army. He's a sensitive lad and like his daddy's art is far from strong. He couldn't do root marches on account of his fallen arches. And his asthma's something terrible when the winter comes along. He's a nice boy, one of the best, but when he gets a cold on his chest, he coughs the dinner, nearly drives us barmy. So, nighty night, close the door, get back to the barracks and think some more before you take a Charlie for the army. Could you please oblige us with a brain gun or failing back to hang grenade to do? We've got some ammunition in a rather damp condition And Major Hosses and Arquebusibus used a Waterloo With the vicar's still a pump, a pitchfork and a spade It's rather hard to guard any of the dream. So if you can't oblige us with a brain gun The home guard might as well go Soon after the war, Ivor embarked on a film career. 
His good looks and classic profile made him almost as popular with the ladies as Valentino. By the time he was 25, he was already an established film star, but he was also a highly successful, very popular composer. In 1916, Ivor wrote his first musical comedy, Theodore and Company. It was a great success and ran for 18 months at London's Gaiety Theatre.